Bro, I'm so happy. Check this out, yo. Bro, I finally have a paved driveway. Bro, look at that. No more muddy sloppiness. Your boy got a paid driveway, cuz. Ain't that cool? I think it's cool. Some people probably like, what the fuck's wrong with this guy? Bro, it's a paved driveway. Only rich people had that when I was a kid, all right? Got that pregnant woman out here working. Doing, doing pregnant conditioning. Oh, my back. Honey, can you get the rest of them? So me and Bess exploring in the woods, check this out. It's a ball mason jar, but they got designs on the other side, like really nice ones. Anybody know anything about ball mason jars? There's the bottom. There's the design. And then look at this one. Here's the bottom on this one. And then here's the design on this one. It's a star. Hmm. This one don't even say ball mason jar. It just says mason jar. I just, I just realized that. Hmm. Dude, we just found this in the woods. Look at this. It's unopened. It's got Roman people on it. Oh, dude, is it liquor? That's liquor, I think, honey. That's that's interesting. Yo, so check it out. Look at these blue mason jar, these blue uh, tinted mason jars, and look how much they're going for. So, dude, I found like. 30 or 40 clear ones. Your boy found a blue one. Ah! And it says perfect mason on it and everything, bro. Oh, oh. Look, look, back then. Hang on. Let me wipe it off. Look at the bottom. Look how uneven it was. They made them back then. That's so cool. All right, I'm about to go wash all these mugs off. Oh, wait, you see these plates I found. So we're gonna end up uh, washing off this stuff and showing y'all, but we did we did like some brief searching, dude. Some of these mason jars are from 1905, and going for like 300 to 500 dollars on Etsy. You know your boy ain't selling them. Beth don't want to either. <coughs> Not only that, that Roman looking bottle, that is uh, uh, cologne for men. Uh, from what was it? Uh, like 1965 to 1971. It's called Pfizer Rio Roman. That's why it looks like a pillar. Dude, that's cool. And, and that, I seen some on there. One dude was selling his. Uh, it said been used once. He was selling it for like 175 dollars. What's cool is the baseball glove one. And the Roman Rio one are both damn near full. Got everything in my utility tub. This thing is full of vintage jars, but look at this. Anybody tell me what this is from? I found these old plates in the woods. So far, I can't see no name on them or nothing, but washing these mugs off right now. Got a slew of those. But I'm gonna post a picture when I'm done washing these things. Bro, I cannot wait to see the designs on all this stuff. I, I'm about to look this up. I didn't notice that this had anything on it earlier, but now that I'm looking at it, look at this. It says Royal Mystic, but Mystic is 
not spelled how we spell mystic now. I know it has an infinity symbol underneath it. Bro, legit, there is nothing useful. There's no useful information on the internet about Royal Mystic. If anyone knows anything about Royal Mystic, let your boy know. I'd love to know where it came from. Reggie Peggy <laughs> and Harry Potter. Baby, this food's fire, by the way. If it's a boy, his name is going to be Rain Everett William Upchurch. Are you and Beth going to find out the gender of the baby? Bro, you already know I am, dude. As soon as I get the envelope, I'm going to rip that open and see. Because if it's a girl first, I'll be cool with that. But we're going to have another baby after that. Until there's a boy to beat up her boyfriends, you know? Do you think your parents will get to meet their grandson ever? Uh, if they clean their act up, man, and give me a proper apology and and personal life. Otherwise, no. Have you and your lady thought of any baby names yet? Oh, yeah. You, your boy's a rapper, bro. I've got like a, a list of 100 names that's never been created before. <laughs> but yeah, we have. I ain't gonna say the names because I don't want nobody steal them, but we have. What are you gonna name your baby if it's a boy? I'm gonna name him Duke Nukem Poop Scootin' Boot Scootin' Up Church. Yeah. How do you know it's a boy, bro? You see that? Man? You see his facial features? He's like, he's like ready to come out with a spear, bro. No, I'm just kidding. I just have a feeling. Are you looking forward to being a dad? Oh, yeah, bro. I'm ready for the gray hair and everything. How does it feel to be a dad, bro, between me and you? I can't wait till he's 16 and he sneaks out. And then his mom's like, nah, 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 nah. I'm gonna be like, oh, you're in trouble, son, come here. I'm gonna be like, bro, here's $50 in gas, bro. Uh, no. We'll just, we'll just call him by his name. To everybody hitting me up, being like, hey, man, did you see these distractions? Oh, are you gonna reply to these distractions? Yeah, I'm not accepting distractions anymore. I'm at a level where I don't accept distractions. To be real. And uh, that's all there is to it. Mic drop. Yay. Now, peace out. I'm going to bed. I have practice for tour. And after tour, I'm having a baby. Which I'm looking forward to. So I'm trying to make this the best tour experience ever. Sound wise. And performance wise. Because when my son gets here. I'm spending all my time with him. Church man out. People keep telling me stuff, but I still don't care. People been telling me stuff, and I still don't care. He said this, and she said that. And a creature over there grinds his teeth on a mat. And he said, get up, church. Sucks. But guess what? Up church still don't give a f da do dum da do dum da dum da da da